All right, guys, so welcome back. Now we're uh, on the part two of our project one. Uh, we're gonna go over some alternatives that you can use for your limb riser, uh, not your limb riser, sorry, uh, the limbs that will attach to your riser. Uh, we're still gonna stick with a PVC material, but I'm gonna show you a different approach to the PVC that I'm not gonna deal with today because uh, I wanna do something that doesn't involve heat in case someone doesn't have a fire or a heat gun or camp stove handy. Uh, but there is a lot of popular uh, bows online being made from PVC where people are heating them with heat guns and then bending them and stretching them uh, to get those characteristics. Now, when you do that, you wanna be careful. You wanna make sure uh, you use even heat to really make sure that the whole plastic pipe is completely heated evenly before you try to squish it down with a piece of block or clamps or whatever you, use, you try to use. There's lots of tutorials out there online that you can find. Uh, some of the just kind of things I want to show you to stay away from when you're doing this, to be mindful. Uh, here's something when a little bit too much heat is starting to be applied to the side after it's been squished. So this is actually a piece of wood has been placed on here and someone's going along here with their heat gun rocking back and forth, trying to keep it heated as they squish it down. And what that does is it applies too much heat to this outer edge, and eventually the outer edge becomes break, starts to break down. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually, a, let me grab a tool real quick. So there's actually a pretty good sized crack there that's already formed, just from the plastic being burnt away. And that's going to weaken the riser, and eventually it's going to snap on you, especially if that's the end that takes all the weight. So, and then here's one where we kind of, you see that yellowing? It's, it's not quite as bad as the one that I just showed you, but you can maybe see there's a little bit, I don't know if the light catches it just right, maybe there's a little bit of a, kind of a dip where it kind of dips inward to the pipe, and that's the starting of that crack. That's just starting to form that. So that won't crack as fast, but it's still weak. Now, another mistake sometimes what people do is they see online people using these clamps and they'll put their piece of piping here, they'll put their wood on top, and then they'll start running their heat gun back and forth along here. Now the reason that's bad is because the top part here and the bottom part here that meets between the wood, that's not getting any heat. So that's gonna be very cold, and what's gonna happen is when you start to squish it down, you can see how the outer edges have kind of squished down like they should. Like here's a really good, here's, a, here's my good example of what it should look like. And you can see this one's nice and evenly squished down, whereas this one still has a little bit of a curve in the middle of both sides. And that's not what you want. It will work still, but it's not gonna be an even distribution of the energy. So this is your kind of, Primo, this is what you want. You, there's no real goldening. There's a little bit here where I got a little too close one bit, but that's not gonna be too much an issue. But you can see how it's a very even, there's very little space in between the two layers. Now I just as a, kinda see what happened. I took a one inch pipe and a one and a quarter pipe and kinda slid them into each other like that. So that way, see what happened, and I kind of heated it up, and I made this, which is very, very strong. It's almost, when I did a longer version, it was almost too strong, it had no real, uh, had no give to it. So it couldn't really bend as a limb arm, but it's a very strong material. So if you were thinking about that, just like I was, uh, just be mindful, it might not work. So once you've got your PVC all heated and bent down, uh, obviously it would be a little bit longer. I've just done a short version for a demo. What you would do is you would cut out a pocket for your pulley to sit in, and then I just drilled in through my bolt and nut, and then instead of another bolt here like on our design we'll be doing to tie off the string, you're gonna just drill a hole and then feed your string through and tie a knot there. So if you're doing the PVC, that's a way that you could attach the, to the alternative pulley to the alternative PVC limb using heat. Now another alternative is if you don't want to use PVC, you can use wood. Uh, I got a piece of red oak here. Obviously you're gonna want a little bit longer one. Uh, this is red oak, commonly found. You're gonna to want to make sure though that you have grain that's running along the length of the board. You want to avoid anything with big knots in it 
or those big arches. You know, the arches are really nice for furniture because you want to show that grain, and you really want to. Uh, this is actually from an old bow project, that's why I got this. But the grain here is going up and down. That's what gives the wood the strength to keep bending over and over again as you use it. And if you have those big arches or not, what can happen is at one time you might go start to bend it and it's going to snap and splinter and just shoot off. And those splinters are going to be going hundreds of miles an hour and it's going to hit you in the face. So you don't want that. Uh, so what you'd have to do is you'd have to tiller it down, go through that whole process. That's why I didn't want to start this because it's a very long and time and energy consuming process to tiller down wood to make a wood limb. So let's go ahead and move on to alternatives for our pulleys and we'll see what we can get for there. The other thing is uh, friction. The friction of the line in the plastic uh, can create heat and this heat can actually start to kind of gunk it up and your, your line can actually stick to the plastic.